Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Uh, folks, today's message is titled, Understanding the Times and the Sons of Issachar. You know, the sons of Issachar have been heavy on my heart lately. Um, for those of you that don't know who Issachar was, he was one of the sons uh, of Jacob, born to Leah. You can read about that in the book of Genesis, chapter 35, verse 23. Something very interesting was said about the sons of Issachar. We are told they had an understanding of the times. In fact, in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 32, we read the following. Of the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, their chiefs were 200, and all their brethren were at their command. If you're a student of Bible prophecy in the world today, you can clearly discern the times we are living in. But most of the church has no clue about the times and seasons that God has so clearly laid out for us in his word. I want to bring to our attention uh, the rebuke Jesus gave to those around him who were not paying attention to the times during his first coming. In the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 54 to 56, the Lord Jesus Christ says the following, And he said also to the people, When you see a cloud rise out of the west, straight away you say, you say there cometh a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, ye say there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it you do not discern this time? So we are told that the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times, but the people did, did not discern the signs of the times during Jesus' first coming. The people, however, were without excuse to not understand and be watching because over 300 detailed prophecies had foretold that Christ was coming. The Old Testament provided a description of the circumstances around which the promised Messiah would be born, the bloodline he would come through, the events that would take place in his life, as well as his death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus Christ fulfilled all of these in his first coming to the earth. It is worth noting that even their rejection of Christ was also prophesied. You can read about that in the book of Isaiah and in the book of Psalms. The people could discern by looking at the sky if good or bad weather was coming, but they could not discern the promised coming of their Messiah to be watching and waiting for it. That also sounds similar in our world today, doesn't it? All of the signs Jesus told us to look for to signal his soon return are staring us in the face. And yet the majority of the world could care less and have no clue about what is about to come upon this world. In the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 35, the Lord Jesus Christ says the following, For as a snare it shall come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Is there a connection between the sons of Issachar and those of us around the world today that are watching for the Lord's return? Recognize the season we are in and know that Jesus Christ is about to rapture his church? I would say absolutely. Again, we are told the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times, which means they were aware of what time they were living in. We are told very clearly in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 that we, the children of the light, will have an understanding of the times and we will see the day approaching. The Bible also tells us that that, that day should not catch us off guard like a thief in the night. Unfortunately, for the majority of the world, it will catch them off guard because they are not watching. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 9, the Apostle Paul records the following. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, 
Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, put it on the breastplate of faith and love, and fur and helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Which one of these two groups do you fall into? Are you like those of the world who blind themselves to the magnificent fulfillment of prophecy as it stares them in the face? Or are you like the sons of Issachar, who understood in advance what incredible times they lived in and watched in anticipation? If anyone is watching this that doesn't believe we are living in amazing times and in the season of the Lord's soon return, I implore you to be like the sons of Issachar. Be a Berean and do your due diligence to confirm for yourself what season we are living in. The Lord is coming, and he is coming soon. The signs are undeniable, and they're right in our face, right here and right now. We have to occupy until the Lord comes. We need to tell people that Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save them. We need to tell them right here and right now to put their faith and their trust in the blood of Jesus right now. They need to believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And we need to tell them that now because tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me and God bless you all.